Hi there and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So this is just a very quick check-in for all 12 zodiac signs. It'll say so in the title. I'm doing 12 zodiac signs, seven card spread for the next seven days, but this message is timeless. So if you find this six months from now and you resonate with any of the readings at all, then that's a message for you. So, um, but before I begin, hello to all my new subscribers. This is just an extra bonus video I do. I generally do general meshes for the collective, especially for Twin Flames, but this is a bonus video I do every week. I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer, and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through, comes through. So welcome aboard if you've just subscribed and I'm so grateful to you for being here and let's begin all my readings as I like to begin them all. So I call in my beautiful heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring message to the collective. Archangel Michael can I ask you please to surround my home, my children, my dog and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times as I bring forward clear and concise message to the collective. Can I ask that you also surround anyone who watches this video online, their homes, their pets, their loved ones in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron can I ask you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit at this time, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you so much, Archangel Metatron. Thank you all for your love, guidance and protection throughout this message for the collective. Thank you for being here. Sending love, light and gratitude always. And so it is. So there will be timestamps, so if you don't want to watch that prayer for, of protection for myself and for you, skip to your zodiac thing. I'll timestamp everything underneath. So let's do it, let's clear the energy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm losing my voice already, so luckily I've got a bottle of water with me. So let's begin with Aries. So I do seven cards for seven days, I check in past, present, future energies, current situation, obstacles, hopes and fears, and possible outcome. Now as I say, this, can, this is the next seven days, but it can be timeless, so whenever you find this, there could be a message for you. So let's start with seven card spread for Aries, please, for the next seven days. Aries, please, for the next seven days. What do we have for beautiful Aries? Um, I managed to put my chair up and now I feel so I feel, I feel like I'm too high up for the camera now, so I'm going to have to try and find a nice happy medium for my, my chair. I don't, know how, I don't know if you've all had a nice day or not. I've been out. Walking quite a lot today. It's been beautiful, clear skies and sunshine here, albeit cold and slippy, but it's been lovely here in Scotland. So, seven cards, please, for Aries for the next seven days. What do we have for beautiful Aries for the next seven days? Okay, so past energy, please. Seven of Fire. So, the Seven of Fire is somebody who is finally, they're finally moving on to a place of that they want to start fighting for something they want to start fighting back in a situation they might want to actually take charge of a situation this is somebody who may have been a bit defensive as well this could be you or someone you're connected to um present energy please for aries so the five of earth 
Now the Fire of Earth is somebody who is not in the best place financially. They may be in a bit of debt. Um, they may be struggling to get a bit of balance back in their life um, financially. Or they may, it may be something to do with like maybe not having a stable place to live or something. Hmm. A future energy please for Aries and the one on their mind. Ace of Air. So Aries, you or someone close to you about to find out a truth here or deliver a truth to you. There's some sort of truth and justice coming in for a situation here. Now it could have been the reason why you were feeling so defensive and in lack at the moment. Um... I might clarify this, but you've definitely got something, you're might either about to find out the truth about something or you're about to deliver the truth about something. Current situation, please, for Aries. Yeah. There's a transformation taking place here. Something has ended out and something is transforming and the Ace of Air card is... The fact that the Ace of Air card is coming right before that transformation. It's like um, justice is coming in here that's going to create some sort of positive change. Can I get um, challenges and obstacles, please, for Aries and the one on their mind? Yeah, I felt that the tower. Some truth here is going to cause some sort of epiphany moment. And a major change in someone's life. So past energy is defensiveness. Somebody who, but somebody who's finally feeling a bit more resilient. But definitely defensiveness, feeling a bit, um, not confrontational, but feeling like others are being confrontational towards you. Present energy, five of air, so feeling in lack and a bit stuck. Um, financially. Coming in the future, some sort of truth and justice coming in, which is going to trigger a tower and a transformation. Um, hopes and fears, please, for Aries and the one on their mind. Yeah. Someone's coming out of being stuck in their head here. Someone's trying to get some mental clarity over a situation. And I do believe it's coming with the Ace of Air. Somebody is feeling completely stuck in their head. It's like they're battling with their own emotions. They're battling with their own instincts. Can I get an outcome card for Aries and one in their mind, please? <laughs> Seven of Water. So again, this is coming out of a lot of um, confusing energy. Somebody's finally letting go of this kind of... I feel this is... There's so... This half of the board, this transformation, um, this half of the tail, I mean, with the transformation card, the Tower, the Five of Air and the Seven of... Somebody is really battling internally here with their thought processes. Can I see the bottom of the deck here? Yeah, the sun. The Empress. And the Four of Fire. And the Eight of Fire. There's something, this, whoever I'm picking up on here, this Aries energy, you're really battling with yourself here. Or someone you're connected to is battling with yourself. Now you either have a truth coming in that's going to transform a situation. Or someone you're connected to has just has just found out the truth about something. But this is this is some sort of um, divine counterpart here. But you have happiness coming in. I'm going to clarify why the five of earth is here. Why why the seven why the Seven of Wands in the past and the Five of Earth for what's going on in the present moment. All right, that was too many. <laughs> I saw the Six of Swords and the High Priestess, so somebody's using their intuition to finally move on or move to Camera Wash. But let me see here. A few less cards, please. I mean, this is the areas I'm picking up on here. You're very. You're very stuck in your head. Now, I don't know if this is a masculine Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This is somebody here has... And look, there's the sun and the tower. Yeah, there's... Somebody has been enlightened to something here and it caused a tower. And it could have been concerning a Leo... But somebody has been left in this 
energy now. They're stuck. They're trying to, they might have been trying to control a situation and it backfired. Somebody may have been trying to control somebody else mentally and it backfired. Can you tell me, um, can you clarify, oh, yes they can. I have one. More Taurus Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Somebody could have went through a tower over a marriage here. Somebody they were married to. Is somebody finding out the truth about someone they were married to here? And there's a seven of wands again. Yeah, there was justice being brought here to a situation. This somebody has been whoever Aries or whoever I'm dealing or whoever you're connected with here. There is some there is happiness and some sort of um celebration energy coming in here, but somebody had to discover the truth about some um commitment that we're in here which caused some sort of transformation. Now, there is commun communication coming out about this. You are going to hear from this person, or if this is you, Aries, you're going to have to come forward and speak to your person because there is a lot of mental confusion going on here. And it could be over an empress or I'm speaking to an empress. Um, is this an empress that this person is connecting with or... Can you tell me, tell me who is in this mental state right now about so the star? So it could be an Aquarius you're connecting to, Aries. Five of Wands and the star. So somebody's really, somebody's really battling to heal from something here. Something that definitely put them through a tower, because I've had a tower twice now. And put them in some sort of mental... Um, put them in some sort of mental state. Um, now I don't know what this was. Let me just get one more card. Can you give me a couple more cards for a move on to Taurus, please? Right, yeah. Knight of Wands and Tower. So I don't know if there was an Aries here. I'm connecting with an Aries who is going through a bit of a terror moment after being a, a bit of a player to this energy or I'm connecting to an Aries who was dealing with a masculine who has gone through a tower after realizing that they were they were basically stepping out on the empress or something the sun again yeah lovers i feel like i'm connecting with an empress an aries empress and you could be dealing with you definitely could be dealing with a scorpio or an Aquarius, or a Leo. This person who you're connected to didn't see your value. They didn't, they may have left you feeling a bit stuck and in your head over the situation. But there is some sort of celebration energy coming in here. There's some sort of truth and clarity, enlightenment, but I believe it is that you were connected with someone who seven of the earth. Yeah, somebody didn't want to invest before. Now either Aries, this is you that didn't want to invest in an empress, or this was someone who didn't want to invest in you. But I feel that the confusion and the mental conflict, someone's coming out of that now. Someone's coming out of that now. So I don't know who that, but there's definitely, as I say, the main signs for you Aries are Aquarius, Leo, oh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio was the main signs I picked up. So I hope that's been helpful, Aries, albeit a bit confusing, <laughs> but let's move on to Taurus. Seven cards for Taurus, please, for the next seven days. Seven cards for Taurus, please, for the next seven days. What do we have for Taurus for the next seven days, please? And thank you. I just said cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Somebody cool as a cucumber. Oh, nice. I like that. Somebody is being cool. Someone's been too cool for school. Seven cards for Taurus, please. And thank you. Seven cards for Taurus for the next seven days. 
what is more than their minds. Okay. Cool as a cucumber. Let's see. So seven cards paid for toys, please, for the next seven days. Thank you so much. Okay. Past energy for Taurus and the one in their mind. King of Water. So somebody may have come forward to you, Taurus, with an emotional confession of some kind, or you were dealing with someone who was a water sign who was quite emotional, possibly. But this is all about emotions and love, whether your person is a water sign or not. Excuse me. Um, there's somebody emotional here you were dealing with, definitely. Present energy for Taurus and the one on your mind. Nine of water, wish fulfillment. More water. More water, okay. So you are either this king of water's wish fulfillment or you've, or there's somebody here from your past who is your wish fulfillment, who could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But let me see, present energy please. Oh, sorry, future energy. Ace of fire. Oh my goodness, Taurus, you have a beautiful new beginning coming in here. You have wish fulfillment. Oh my goodness, this energy is just beautiful. A lot of water and fire. Current situation for Taurus, please. Four of air. So this is someone going through a period of being silent and healing and taking time to clear up any anything that's bothering them you know it's kind of like somebody who's like i need to sit and think about things properly i need to clear up exactly how i feel it's also meditation and contemplation so somebody could be definitely going within here um taking time out to heal listen listen to their own conscience listen to their own emotions and actually figure things out could be this king of water you're connecting to um, can I get the challenges and obstacles, please, for Taurus, the one on your mind? Page of Fire. So the challenge is somebody having the courage to come forward and we spark a connection with you. It could be whoever is in this Four of Swords energy right now, healing and thinking about things seriously. Um, so with that being the challenge, I just told me somebody needs the courage and strength to come forward and try and re-spark this connection, or somebody, either you or your person, needs to have the courage to do it. Can I get the hopes and fears, please? Yeah, the four of earth. So, somebody, somebody's been too controlling of this situation, I feel. Now, this is somebody who's either been too controlling over their emotions, they're not willing to open up and be truthful about how they feel. Maybe that's why the page of fire is a, the challenge, because... In order to have a new beginning, somebody has to let go of the control issues over this connection. Now, I'm not meaning that in a kind of negative controlling way. Um, I mean more they're not willing to let the connection progress because they're holding back emotions or they're not being their true selves or they're like holding on to an old narrative for this connection that's no longer no longer there. Um, well, let me just see outcome, please. The Emperor. Yeah. I did feel you had a masculine here who's going through some sort of healing and trying to work out their emotions. But with this, I mean, remember, we have the Ace of Fire as your future position and we have the Nine of Water as your current situation. So this is someone who is bringing in wish fulfillment to your life, someone that you wish for, someone that you hope for to return. Um, so the signs I'm getting most strongly here are Sag. Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but let me see what the bottom of the deck is. <laughs> Two of water. A beautiful, loving partnership. Ten of air. Somebody's finally getting out of their head, releasing their negative thought patterns. High font. <laughs> Higher level commitment coming in here. Fortune's wheel. Yeah. And I just saw the page of air. So someone does want to bring a message here to you and they want a new beginning. This is all destined and fated to come in. More Leo energy with this. So so we have Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo and Sagittarius. Um, but this is all destined. So luck is, luck is on your side here, Taurus. 
I mean, you have someone about to come in and offer you a passionate new beginning and a commitment of some kind. But they have to they have to get out with their head first and they have to stop trying to control the situation in order to bring in this beautiful new beginning with you. So, but you do have an emperor coming in, Taurus. So that is beautiful. And to get the two of water, the nine of water and the eight of fire. Well, what a spread for you, Taurus. So let's move on, please. So what are we going next? Gemini. So seven cards spread for Gemini, please and thank you. Seven cards for beautiful Gemini. What do we have coming in for Gemini? Gemini, please. Gemini. Seven cards for seven days for Gemini. Let's see. Seven cards for seven days for Gemini. I feel like when I do these zodiacs, I need to have a look at the camera because I'm just constantly shuffling um, seven cards for seven days for Gemini one more shuffle okay one more shuffle for seven cards for seven days for Gemini Gemini and one in their mind please seven cards for the next seven days for Gemini please and thank you okay past energy for Gemini Four of Fire. So this could have been some sort of commitment or there was some sort of celebration in the past. Um, obviously the Four of Fire is a Twin Flame Union card as well. So let's see where we go here. But I think this is more some sort of celebration or maybe this was a, a marriage in the past. Let me see. Present Energy for Gemini the one in their mind. Seven of Air. So this is somebody who's either been manipulative or... This is somebody who's either being quite manipulative or you are being quite manipulative. Gemini, no judgment either way. But someone is being manipulative here. It could be someone in a marriage or somebody that you were married to or take vice versa or somebody you're connected to that they're married to. Um, future energy, please, for Gemini and the one in their mind. The world. There's a new cycle coming in here. Things have come full circle. I'll clarify. Current situation, please. The full, yeah. A new cycle's coming in here. Something's over. This current situation is a beautiful new beginning. Starting from zero, starting from scratch. A whole new, a whole new world. A whole new world. So, yeah. Gemini, I don't know what happened here and why the Seven of Swords is your current, is your, in your present situation. Can I get some more information, please? Obstacles and challenges. The Eight of Fire. Sorry, the Three of Fire. I always say Eight of Fire for that, but it's a three. three of Fire. So the challenge is somebody finally having the strength to take a leap of faith and move on, move forward. I will clarify this because I need to know a bit more about who, um, whether it's you or the one on your mind here, Gemini. But somebody needs to, somebody, somebody's challenge is actually setting sail and moving forward. Moving out of stuck energy and actually moving forward. Um, hopes and fears for Gemini and the one in their mind. Queen of Air. So this is your energy here, Gemini. Um, so somebody's either hoping to move towards you or they're hoping that you're not going to be too prickly toward them when they do come back. They're hoping that you're letting, letting your guard down a wee bit. Um, but this is your energy, Gemini, Queen of Air. So this could just be someone's hoping to, to win you over. So let's see the outcome for Gemini, Queen of Air. You are going to be very, very happy here. You're going to be whatever... Whatever went on in the past here, you are now your outcome is you're going to be very financially secure, you're going to be very grounded in a connection here of some kind. Let me see the bottom. Nine of fire. Someone's not willing to give up on this connection with you. Eight of fire, communication coming in. Three of water, that's celebrations. 
happier times, 10 of water, happiness, 8 of air, someone's finally getting mental clarity. Someone is finally releasing all the negative thoughts that have kept them stuck in their head. And then we have the six of fire. So there is some sort of beautiful, um, successful connection coming in here for you, Gemini. And this is either, but and with the seven of swords is your present energy. Somebody may have been slightly manipulative or manipulating someone close to you. But I mean, you've got the queen of earth as your outcome. So you are definitely moving into a very grounded, stable connection here. I mean, queen of earth to me is kind of, you know, long-term spouse, kind of wife energy. Um, let me see here. You do have some sort of victory and success here. This could have been with someone you were married to. Yeah, the sun, the lovers, and then you have pentacles. So look, you have a beautiful love connection coming in here. It's going to make you very happy, but you are already in the nine of pentacles so you already are this kind of queen of earth energy regardless if you end up with this person or not but this person is a divine love connection they are going to bring in happiness and lots of emotional fulfillment with the ten of cups being here and the six of fire and the three of cups so this person i feel wants to this person does want to to marry you or offer you yeah just as i say i love the four of wands again now the Four of Wands come out though with the Eight of Swords, which, and I had the Eight of Air here as well. So somebody was, now this could be somebody that you're connected to, um, Gemini, who was conflicted over a marriage from their past. They, but the cycle's over. They were being manipulated. Now take this, this is either you, Gemini, who could have been in a marriage with someone you were being manipulated by, but you do have a happy connection coming in here. And you do have some sort of celebration or proposal energy, but, um, and the six of fire, yeah, you've got some sort of happy celebratory energy here, but the fact that eight of swords and the four of wands and the two of wands behind that. So somebody, hold on just a second, was, is this someone that Gemini's connected to that was already in a marriage? Yeah, <laughs> the sun and the lovers. This, so this is just telling me this could, and there's the nine of pentacles again. This could be, right, so Gemini, what I'm getting here is this could be someone you're connecting to that was not single at the time when you, so the Four of Wands was in the past. So this could be someone you connected with who was not single, okay? Um, they are your divine counterpart. They are your happily ever after, but they were not single. This person, there's a cycle closed here, a cycle of manipulation and deception, maybe hiding things from you. The challenge is somebody has to move forward here, move on, because it is a beautiful new beginning here. There is some sort of celebratory energy, you've got communication coming in, and someone's now willing to fight for you. So if you were connected to someone who was previously married and stuck, um, because the Eight of Swords and the Four of Wands tell them that's someone who's stuck in a loveless marriage, um, that's just how I read those cards at certain times. So... You could have been connected to someone who was stuck in a loveless marriage, but this tells me there's someone's trying to break free of that. To come and offer you a commitment of some kind. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, and I hope that's been helpful. So let's move on to Cancer. So Cancer for the next seven days, please and thank you. What do we have for Cancer for the next seven days? Please and thank you. Cancer the next seven days what can you tell me about cancer and the one in their mind for the next seven days Amazing, thank you. beautiful cancerians and the one on your mind for the next seven days please and thank you one more shuffle for cancer cancer and the one on your mind for the next seven days okay let's see Seven days for cancer, no one in their mind. That was a messy split of the deck there. You can think of something messy. Hmm. Okay. Past energy for cancer. Seven of water. Somebody finally got clarity. Somebody was no longer confused of a situation. Somebody was like, oh, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Somebody in the past started to see things clearly for what it was um 
present energy please for cancer and the one in their mind eight of fire something is progressing forward here steady progress forward communication could be coming in very soon but eight of fire is just movement and forward so that's just movement and then you look at the person they're riding on a is that a panda or yeah poor panda someone's riding in the back of a panda um so yeah that's just steady movement forward but it's also progression and it's communication and travel so in the present situation there's definitely something progressing here and something um something about to be communicated to you a message is coming in possibly um future please for cancer anyone in their mind nine of fire so that is somebody who's not willing to give up somebody has got clarity about something that they're coming probably coming back to talk about but they don't want to give up on this situation cancer so i don't know if this is you or the one in your mind but let's get the current situation 10 of water so this is a beautiful loving connection this is a beautiful loving connection with lots of love and emotional fulfillment and happily ever after energy here um i'm not sure what happened with the seven of cups in the past but something's definitely moving forward and someone's now wanting to fight so let me see hopes and uh, sorry obstacles and challenges please ace of fire so the challenge is here to let the past go and move in towards the beautiful new beginning that's coming forward for you between so ten of cups here ace of fire i mean come on that the ace of fire is, is is god sort of pressing reset and saying okay let's have a do-over I will allow this in divine timing. Let's have a do over because this is a beautiful connection. So somebody, somebody's challenge is here to actually let the past go and live in the present or focus on the future. Um, so let me see. Hopes and fears, please, for cancer and the one on their mind. <laughs> Strength. So you could be a bit of a cusper, cancer, with a wee bit of Leo in your chart here. But yeah, somebody really needs the strength here to let go of the past that's what I feel whatever clarity someone got here in the past it may not have been the most pleasant thing they heard but it certainly created a ripple effect because now they, they want to find the strength to come towards you or whatever truth you found out or whatever clarity you got you need to find the strength to move forward because <coughs> you do have happiness here um nine of water is your outcome you have your outcome is wish fulfillment if you're strong enough to let go of the past cancer and move forward um i mean the main signs it's coming through here the most the signs that are coming through here most heavily is cancer and leo cancer leo and sag so far um but let me see um bottom of the deck the empress now we've got Taurus as well, Taurus energy, five of air, someone's trying to get balance back with their finances, the sun, happiness and joy is coming in here. More Leo energy, so Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo or, yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sag. But definitely a lot of um, water energy too. And obviously Taurus for the Empress, but... Yeah, you you have you have wish fulfillment and happiness. You have ten of water. You have a beautiful. There's something here about letting go of the past, um. Because if you can let go of the past, it'll cause this motion forward with the eight of wands, and then the nine of wands. So I mean, eight eight of fire followed by the nine of fire in itself is progression. And I've just realised. Look, oh, wow. So we got seven, eight nine you could be seeing those numbers cancer you could be seeing seven eight nine and um, those kind of sequence numbers um yeah but all those numbers break down to a six which is a number of unconditional love yeah you've definitely got love here cancer whether you have the strength to let go of the past is up to you but you do have a lot of happiness and joy and either way um i mean you're i feel like you might be struggling with your finances a bit but that's going to change page of earth yeah you do have somebody coming in here to offer a beautiful new beginning so 
That's what we have for you, Cancer. Let's move on to Leo. Seven cards for seven days for Leo, please and thank you. What do we have for Leo? Seven cards for seven days for Leo, please and thank you. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Seven cards for seven days for Leo and I actually split the deck twice there on the sun. So very powerful Leo energy coming through already. We are, I think we are kind of, they say this is the year of Leo because it's depicted by the number eight, which is the strength card and the strength card obviously is um, the Leo card. And I just split the deck on the sun again. So very powerful Leo energy here right now. So one more shuffle for Leo, then we'll do seven cards for seven days. I don't believe this, but the deck on the sun again. So let's see. Okay. Seven cards for seven days for lovely Leo. Thank you so much. Okay. Seven cards for seven days. So past energy for Leo, King of Fire, your your own energy, Leo. So you have you could be connected to a masculine who's Aries Leo Sagittarius, or this is your own energy. But this is somebody um you could this could be somebody from your past who is very passionate about you, ready to take action. So present energy for Leo and the one in their mind, nine of earth. So you are sitting in beautiful energy right now. You are abundant on your own, single, happy, confident. So this is beautiful energy so far, Leo. Um, future position, please. Seven of fire. So there could be some resistance coming up here in the future. Maybe a wee bit of push-pull energy, you know. Um, it could be with this king of fire. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign who there's going to be a bit of... Um, I mean, two fire signs do tend to have that push-pull thingy. Where they're both very passionate, fiery. Um, so there could be a wee bit of resistance here coming up. Now let's see. Current situation. The moon. Yeah, I feel like someone's running from their emotions here. Whether this is you, Leo, or your person. Somebody's hiding their emotions or somebody's been keeping something from you. That could be where the resistance comes in in the future because... As much as they want you, as much as they want to take action on you, they're hiding something possibly. I will find out. Um, challenges and obstacles, please. The five of water. So somebody really needs to move out of this. I feel that somebody is holding on to some sort of negative outcome from the past between the two of you now. It's almost like somebody's too busy grieving the loss of your connection to see that they can actually save the connection. Um, it's almost like they're thinking, um, oh, you know, woe is me, I've lost them, oh, 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 what did I do, what did I do? This is either you, Lee, or your person. And they're too busy focusing on the fact that they're grieving the loss of the connection. They're not thinking, oh, I could actually fight for this connection. I could actually defend this connection. So let's see, hopes and fears, the ace of earth. Yeah, and look at the stag, divine masculine energy. Leo, either you're hoping that your masculine returns to you to offer you this new beginning, or this person is hoping that you're going to accept their offer of a new beginning. When they move out of this woe is me energy, now it's, I don't mean to be cheeky Leo, no judgment, Either you're in the, this woe is me energy or your person is. But let's see, outcome here. Six of fire. Success and victory. I mean, come on. Leo energy. This is another card of Leo. I told you this. So, but Leo, you could be connecting. You could be connecting with a Virgo or a Cancer or a Sagittarius. Yeah. Because the signs I've got here, or even a fellow Leo, Leos, because I've got Leo, Leo, Virgo, Cancer and Sagittarius coming through the strongest here. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Water, Wish Fulfillment. There is some fast moving information coming in here and it's the truth. Wow, and the sun. And the Ten of Water. And the Ace of... Okay, uh, I don't need to carry on here. Somebody, 
when they move out of their head here of being stuck in this grieving, this connection, they have to understand that when they get out of the fact they've lost this connection, they're going to get a new, a new beginning here. Now, either this King of Wands is coming towards you, Leo, or you're going towards a King of Wands. This is wish fulfillment. This is, I told you, I saw the sun numerous times when I was shuffling as well. This is happiness, wish fulfillment, happily ever after. There is, um, I've got the messenger of air here. So there's definitely fast energy moving towards you here with um, to deliver truth. I mean, we have literally three aces here. I've just realised that we have got the ace. The only one we don't have here is the ace of water because we have the ten of water, the ace of air, the ace of fire and the ace of earth. Triple aces, Leo. And I think this is someone who they they may have rejected you in the past or shown no interest in a commitment and now they regret it. And that's why they're in the five of cups. And now they want to come back and show you that they actually do mean business. So there we go. That's what we have for you, Leo. Let's move on to Virgo, please. Virgo, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, please? Seven days for Virgo. Seven cards made for Virgo for the next seven days. Please and thank you. Seven cards for Virgo, please, for the next seven days. So they keep on seeing the five of air. So Sunday could be in their head a wee bit over a connection here. Seven cards for Virgo, please. Seven cards played for Virgo and the one in their mind. Seven cards played for Virgo, please. Seven cards played for Virgo, please, and the one on their mind. Last shuffle and then we'll split the deck. Seven cards for Virgo, please, and the one in their mind. Seven cards. Seven cards for Virgo and the one in their mind, please. One, three. All right. So we'll pass the energy for Virgo and the one in their mind, please. The Fool. So this tells me that in the past, um, some, now you could have been connecting with an Aries, but this tells me that somebody or you took a leap of faith towards somebody or somebody took a leap of faith towards you. This was like, you know, and this for me is of childlike energy as well. So this is, yeah, somebody took a leap of faith towards you or you took a leap of faith, um, Virgo. Current, current energy, or present energy rather, five of water. So somebody took a leap of faith in their own way possibly. <laughs> somebody took a leap of faith and ended up in the five of water. Eh, that's not great. So I don't know if this is you or somebody you were connected to, Virgo. Let me see. Um, future energy, please, for Virgo, the one in their mind, strength. So in the future, someone is going to be having to come out of this in deep regret and wallowing again, woe is me, self-pity energy. They made a mistake, but I think they made a wrong choice and took a leap of faith towards the wrong direction, chose the wrong destined path, possibly. But this person is finding the strength. Now, where this is your someone you're connected to, Virgo, we shall see. Current situation for Virgo and the one in their mind. Yeah, five of air. I saw this three times when I was shuffling. It kept catching my eye. Somebody, the current situation is somebody is needing to balance out their thoughts. They are... Look, see someone who's balancing on their tiptoe here. Somebody's thoughts are all over the place. It's like, I th this is why it's like conflicted thoughts because the air energy is thoughts to do with the mind. So somebody is really trying to try and get balance here. It's like a constant battle of wits with himself um, over something that went on here. Let me try and find out, get to the bottom of this for you, Virgo. Um, Hope, uh, oh, I say hopes and challenges, obstacles and challenges, please. Hanged man. Now this is either, the, the obstacle and challenge could be getting out of this stuck energy or the obstacles and challenge could be that somebody is actually going through some sort of spiritual awakening. That could be the case. Somebody, whatever, somebody took a leap of faith into the wrong direction and it caused mental conflict and it could be 
triggering and awakening in them. But let me see. Um, hopes and fears, please. The tower, yeah. Divine intervention. So when this person, whether it's you, Virgo, or the one in your mind, the energies I have so far here are Aries, Pisces, Leo, and Scorpio. Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, and Aries are the main signs you could be dealing with here. But someday, the divine intervention come in here. <clears throat> somebody took a leap in the wrong direction of their destined path. And there's divine intervention to enlighten someone here, put them through some sort of awakening. Outcome for Virgo and the one in their mind, King of the Earth. Your energy, Virgo. I could be connecting to a masculine Virgo here who's... You you made a very bad decision about something here. Regarding a Queen of Water. Pisces energy. You want to communicate with them. You want to express something, emotions to them of some kind that's been keeping you burdened. Oh. You love them and you want to get balance back and justice after... Oh my god, okay. So I, I'm connecting here with a masculine Virgo. They made a bad decision here. They, they actually took a leap in the wrong direction, away from the woman they loved. Okay. Can you tell me about this masculine Virgo here? Did they... Did they... Oh. Hello, I just a beautiful orb has just appeared. So I don't know who this masculine is, but they're certainly <laughs> yeah, this masculine now look they're now in this energy. More the earth energy as well. Knight of Pentacles, three of three of wands. This masculine's now getting ready to move forward and we've got the eight of five as well. Um so Virgo, I do believe you're going through some sort of awakening right now. Um, did this masculine make the wrong choice in love here? Did this masculine make the wrong choice in love? Uh, yeah, Virgo, your card, Hermit, yeah. This is to tell me this masculine is definitely through a dark night of the soul and awakening right now. Um, now, I don't know what, what whether he made the wrong choice in love here or he just was in the Four of Cups energy, let me see. Did this masculine just... Um, so, oh, right, okay, six of pentacles, three of pentacles. Yeah, I think he was giving to two situations here. Um, Because I got the two of earth here too. And justice. So I think this masculine could have been given to two situations. Is this Virgo masculine? Was he given to two situations here? No, I, I feel like with this, uh, this could be for a cross watcher, but you're... Yeah, yeah, he's finally more Cancerian energy, so you, he definitely could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio because I've got a lot of Cancer and Pisces energy out here, um, and also some Libra and Leo. But this, yeah, this masculine is moving on here, he's completed a cycle. Um, Page of Cups, yeah. Two pentacles again. Yeah, he was juggling two situations here. He was given to two situations. But he's he's now coming in here on the chariot. Um he's now coming back in on the chariot here to I feel to he's just getting up the strength um to move forward. He's in deep regret for taking a leap towards for he took a leap towards the wrong um the wrong person, or it might not even been a person, maybe just the wrong outcome. You know, he might have said, I just want to be single, which was effectively him choosing the wrong path. So I don't necessarily mean your person is connected to anyone Virgo, but, or if I'm speaking to the Divine Masculine who I was picking up who's a Virgo, then, you know, you may have just have made the wrong choice in love, not necessarily with someone else. So good luck, Virgo, and I hope that helped. On to Libra. I am so bad for remember, remembering them all. Okay, Libra. Seven cards for seven days for Libra. I'm always so proud of myself when I get to the end and I'm like, I did record them all, yay! So let's hope I remember this time. <laughs> so Libra, please. Seven cards for Libra and the one in their mind. I can, I'll try and do these quicker, but 
I will never ever manage to do them too quickly. I'm just too thorough. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Libra and the one on their mind. Please seven cards for the next seven days. For Libra and the one on their mind. Libra and the one on their mind. Oh, sorry. I must have done a shuffle. That one just is not good. That did not go to plan. And that could be something that Libra associates with. Something not going to plan. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Seven cards for seven days for Libra. Please and thank you. Past energy for Libra and the one in their mind. Call. Which is effectively like judgment call. But this is also the call of the divine. So Libra, you could have been, you could have had the call from the divine to step forward, to step into your beautiful angelic divine energy here. Um, so that's from the past. You you could have been called. Um, and I keep, I, I saw immediately number 20. I keep seeing the number 20 on cards a lot lately in 2020 and stuff. So something about number 20 for some people. Okay. Um, present energy, please. Nine of fire. So some days, somebody has decided that they're going to take on the challenge of something here, that they're, you know, this is like somebody throwing down the gauntlet saying, do you want to take up the challenge? Someone's like, hell to the yes. So somebody has like been, somebody has been called to step forward for something here and it could be their divine purpose or something and they're accepting the challenge, like I'm willing to do whatever it takes. But this could also be in a love situation where somebody made a decision in the past and now they want to fight for someone. So we can just see for this, it could either be in a love situation or a divine purpose situation. So let's have a look. So future energy, please. King of water. So Libra, you could be dealing with a water sign or you're about to meet a water sign or the person on your mind is about to come forward and say they want to fight for this now, that they actually do love you. They're very emotional over you. Um, now this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or a Sagittarius because the two cards I have had out first is strong Sagittarius energy. So let me see a current situation. Six of air. Yeah, somebody is wanting to move to calmer waters with you or this is you. Um, Libra, you're finally, I feel you're finally getting into a good space. Now, either, as I say, either you've answered the call of the divine and you're willing to fight for your future here, but I do feel with the king of water being your future outcome, this is more to do with a relationship. Um, somebody made a decision in the past and they want to fight for you or you want to, or if I'm connecting with a, a feminine Libra, you want to fight for this king of water, but something is definitely progressing into camera waters for you both here. Um, can I get the challenges and obstacles, please? Queen of water, so this is counterparts. Now, with this being, okay, so Libra, I think the challenge here for you is to open up your emotions to this person. Um, you, this person maybe wants to fight for you, but your challenge is actually to let them fight for you and to open up your heart to let them in. Um, yeah, I mean, air signs are notoriously, no offence, air signs are notoriously quite standoffish. Um, I mean, for me, they're the kind of least, I mean, they can get emotional, of course, because I, I, I mean, my, one of my best friends, my best friends in the entire world, my soul sister is a Gemini, but they can be very logical about things as opposed to emotional. So maybe this is your challenge, Libra, um, is actually to to open up your emotions a bit more. Hopes and fears for Libra and the one of their mind. Yeah, get out of your head. Libra, you need to get out of your head. You need to be a bit more open emotionally to this king of water coming back. And I'm saying coming back because I feel that they are returning. They've made a decision about, you know, they want to fight for your connection. But I feel like you're, you're too in your head. I mean, this can move to calmer waters with you both. Um, outcome, please, for Libra and the in their mind. Hanged man. So things are a bit stuck right now. Um, you could be seeing 12-12 a lot. Things are a bit stuck at the moment. Um, 
because I feel that you're not fully open to this person coming back to offer you love. Queen of Fire. So this is about being passionate. It's about, you know, opening up and allowing your passions to just flow to this person. Um, you could have fire in your chart as well. You could be a Libra with um, with Leo, Aries or Sagittarius in your Sun, Moon or Venus placements. But I do feel that they're asking you to be open with your emotions and be open and be more passionate towards this person returning. Um, here, because I feel like you're kind of closed off a wee bit right now, Virgo energy. Chariot. Yeah. Things... Things want to progress here because we've got the chariot after the hangman. So things will progress here. I feel like you're taking a wee bit of time to yourself. There is some sort of message coming in here. Let me just get a couple of clarifiers for you here. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. Ten of swords. So this person hurt you, Libra. This person hurt you. This king of water hurt you here. It now makes more sense why you're kind of closed off emotionally and unsure of them returning. Now, as I say, the, the strongest signs I have here are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Virgo and Pisces. So you or your person can have them in your chart, but let me see. Yeah, <laughs> that's you, Libra, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're, you are... You're, you're you're staying firmly in your queen of swords that's it you're not getting any passion or emotion out of me i'm just staying here being logical being guarded keeping my boundaries up but i do feel that's what's causing this energy libra and i love you libra i do love you i love all air signs but you can be very logical it can be very head over heart decisions sometimes um can you tell me this person I think, yeah, this person regrets so much, but they do want to re-spark this connection with you. They want to work on things. There is an apology coming in. Could be from a Virgo, um, but this person definitely wants to, this person definitely wants to make things right. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles, they are coming in here to offer you a new beginning. Does this person, yeah, King of Wands and High Priestess? So there is a masculine energy here, um, who could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Because I was feeling Sagittarius very strongly right from the start, um, but also they could have Pisces in their chart, or this could just be someone ready to take action on you who's very passionate. But they're using their intuition about you now, Libra. Um, they are. They, I feel they are coming in genuine here they are coming in genuine but i think they feel with you and the queen of swords energy maybe they don't have much of a chance i mean that's why they want you to move into your queen of cups energy a bit more um does this person have love for libra does this person have love for libra yeah they want to give equally to you now they see you as their empress their wish fulfillment they want to, to collaborate with you and partner up with you and all the things, you know, they want, they want, um, and three of waters at the bottom, I just noticed that. So this person may offer you something very substantial by the way of new beginnings that could be a real reason to celebrate if you choose to forgive them and move out of your Queen of Swords energy with this. So that's what I have for you. Let's now move on to Scorpio. So Scorpio for the next seven days. What do we have for Scorpio, please, for the next seven days? Oh, we're doing okay for time. Steady, slow and steady wind the race. So can we get seven cards for lovely Scorpio, please? Seven cards for seven days for Scorpio. Please and thank you. Seven cards for seven days for Scorpio. Please and thank you. What, what do we have coming through for Scorpio? Please and thank you. What do we have for Scorpio? Just been through water a couple of times, so that's nice. 
Scorpio, please. And the one in their mind. Seven cards for the next seven days. One more shuffle. Thank you very much. Seven cards for the next seven days for Scorpio. Okay. Seven cards for Scorpio and the one in your mind for the next seven days. Thank you. Past energy. Messenger of air. So you found somebody came towards you here with some sort of message. This is somebody come this this can be somebody coming in a bit of clash of the titans energy, you know, somebody sort of rushing in to go, I told you, blah blah blah. Somebody can rush in and basically have a go at you or be angry at you, but some so sometimes the messenger of air can, can somebody, sometimes be an angry confrontation. But let me see here. Present situation for Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> five of water. We're getting the five of water a lot in the present situations. Um, a lot of regrets in the collective at the moment. But somebody could be regretting angry words here to you. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody said really harsh words. In the heat of the moment, and I'm now hearing that song, it was the heat of the moment. I do believe somebody said some harsh words to you in the heat of the moment here, Scorpio, and they regret it. Um, future position, please. Four of air. Yeah. This could have caused, or this is going to cause silence, stonewall. But also it could cause you both to contemplate things from the past maybe spend a bit of time healing from whatever this was i do feel harsh words from someone and they're now deeply in regret sorry there was just so much water on the table it made me think i need a place with water <laughs> um so yeah there's just I don't know what happened here. Scorpio, let's see. Current situation. Hi, Priestess. So, Scorpio, you could finally be using your intuition here about a situation. This is all about finally using your intuition and seeing things clearly. But this is also stepping into your beautiful energy of knowing. Your inner knowing. Your, your clarity seeing things not just clearly in the 3d but seeing things clearly um you know through your third eye and stuff as well so you're maybe seeing through a situation here or somebody regrets not um using their intuition but let me see challenges and uh, challenges and obstacles please for scorpio six of water all right, so this is somebody who regrets the past heavily here. Somebody, I mean, I'm all I'm getting here is harsh words, silence, stonewall, regrets, seeing things clearly, and someone from the past who's really missing you and feeling nostalgic and a bit. I feel they're feeling a bit lost. Um. Can I get hopes and fears for Scorpio and the one in their mind, please? Four of Earth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, some, somebody... Somebody is not letting go. Now... This could be to do with a family situation. Now, this could be somebody you have family with. Um... I mean, this could be over a family situation, but also this can be about money. This can be about greed, control. So I don't know if the hopes and fears of someday they're feeling they're about to lose money in a situation. I might clarify this one. Outcome, please. Messenger of Air. So you do have some sort of offer coming in here from someone. Now, as I say, my main... I, from the moment I opened your reading here, Scorpio, I felt somebody... I felt harsh words. I felt angry words. I felt regret. I felt silence. 
Now the High Priestess um, in the current situation could just be somebody who's silent and not really giving much away because the High Priestess is very mysterious, very quiet, they don't really talk about much and people are then led to, to guess what's going on because High Priestess energies don't talk about things, they keep, they keep their shit private, right? So that could be what's going on and this person could be very much in regret but they're missing you. You could be this high priestess energy. But I feel they're maybe money could be holding them back in some way. But there is an offer coming in here. Eight of air. Yeah, someone's finally getting out of being stuck in their head. This this is unconditional pure love here, Scorpio. And I don't know what caused these angry words. Somebody maybe yeah, somebody somebody's really coming out of a negative mindset here. They could be finally using their intuition. They're, they could be trying to get their finances sorted. But look, fortune's wheel. This, whatever went on here, it was all destined to play out this way because this is what is going to strengthen your connection, I feel. Let me just clarify this. But like conflict in 10 of water. So five of fire and 10 of water, four of water. Yeah, this person... They may have said to you some really harsh words, Scorpio, or you said this song, or vice versa. Some really harsh words that cause the both of you to not speak. But this person is in deep regret. They're missing you. Now, the energies are coming through most here. We've got so much Leo in these readings tonight. Leo has come through strongly, but we've got Libra, Libra, Leo, Libra, Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, Libra and Leo and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and some Taurus that I can feel coming through as well. So let's see. Can you tell me a wee bit more about this before I move on to Sagittarius? Can you give me a bit more information about this? Yeah. Um, we started out with the Messenger of Air and now we've got the Knight of Swords. So someone did rush in, I feel, with some harsh words. But we got the Messenger of Earth, now we're going to the Knight of Earth. They're just clarifying all the cards we've had. This person's coming in to apologise for their harsh words here. They want to work on something with you. Yeah, judgement. They, they made a bad judgement call in the Four of Wands. So this person does want... This person does want a commitment with you. They do want a happily ever after. They do want some sort of long-term commitment with you here um yeah look double wish fulfillment double for your trouble aquarius energy as well so you could be dealing with someone with aquarius in a chart but you are this person's wish fulfillment and i feel that they are yours but just harsh words brought this to an abrupt end but this is love this is love and i think there was just a harsh conversation here it caused someone to be stuck in a negative um, thinking. I mean, somebody could have said they weren't interested in love. They didn't love you. You know, it could have been leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you. Whatever this harsh words were, this person is now in the five of water and the six of water. In regret and missing you, Scorpio. They really do. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. You will know if that's your message or not. Let's move on to Sagittarius. We are getting there, aren't we? We're almost, we're almost there. When I get to Sagittarius, I know I've only got a few left to go, so that's always a good sign. And just, I'm just really hoping and praying I've not missed anyone out. So let's see. Okay, Sagittarius, please and thank you for the beautiful Sagittarius out there. What do we have? Seven cards for the next seven days. Please and thank you. Seven cards for the next seven days for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Seven cards for the next seven days for Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Magician. Sagittarius could be stepping into their, their divine energy. Kind of swords and magician again. So yeah, this person definitely could be about to speak the truth. Or they're manifesting a chance to speak the truth to someone. 
So let me see. One more shuffle for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. Okay. Can I get seven cards for Sagittarius, please, for the next seven days and the one on their mind, please, and thank you. So past energy for Sag and the one on their mind. Nine of fire. So somebody may have been fighting relentlessly for something and getting nowhere here. Because um, sometimes when this is in the past energy, I feel that somebody was like, you know, fighting, fighting, fighting. Now, it could have been literally fighting, um, fighting a connection or fighting moving into a connection. Or this is just somebody who was keeping themselves so burdened with work that they were trying not to think about someone. That's the energy I feel. Let's see. Present situation. See your birth. So this person now maybe what has decided that they're, they're done fighting a connection, that they actually do want to be in some sort of connection with, with this person. So whether this is you, Sag, or the one in your mind. Um, so somebody could have been fighting against a connection and now they want a connection. Let's see. Future for Sag, please. Yeah, three of water. Three, three. Somebody can be seeing 33, which is master number. Three, three, three is holy trinity. Progression forward. Angelic support. So threes are very important to Sag here or whoever they're connected to. But whoever, whoever Sag was fighting a connection with or whoever was fighting a connection with you, Sag, they now want collaboration they now want teamwork they now want to celebrate with you possibly some sort of offer of commitment and you know what i mean um so let's see current situation yeah oh my goodness i honestly i felt this there's a sagittarius was fighting a connection here and now they want the connection or if I'm speaking to Sag, somebody um, who it could it could well be an air sign, could have been um, let me see, or it could be an air sign want to be with you, Sag. Now, but let me we'll, we'll clarify this. So, oh excuse me, <laughs> obstacles and challenges for Sag. Yes, actually making a plan and sticking to it and moving forward, and that's another three. So we do now have three, three, three. So this is a powerful, this is a powerful connection. Um, that's three, three, three. So Sad, you are a powerful, you could be a powerful manifester, a powerful divine being, or the person you're connected to is. Wow, okay. I almost looked at the bottom before it was my, my time to. I'm getting more excited there. So hopes and fears for Sad and the one in your mind. Getting out your head, Sad. Or someone needs to get out of their head that you're connected to. Somebody needs to get their thoughts in check. They need to stop overthinking. They need to stop thinking, oh, I I didn't give this person the love they wanted in the past. Maybe they don't want me now. Maybe they've moved on. Maybe, this, Sag, if this is you, get out of your head. And if this is someone that's connected to you, Sag, then they need to get out of their head. Let me see the outcome six of eight this is this is a beautiful balanced connection you love each other equally you want to give equally to this connection somebody just has to get out of their head here okay bottom of the deck the king of water okay sad whoever you're connected to you could be connected to a, a masculine water sign but this is just telling me or if i'm connecting to a masculine sad here you're now in your emotions here you want to offer a new beginning. You don't, you're no longer stuck. You've transformed. <laughs> Twin flame union card. Marriage. Oh my goodness. I don't, I feel at the start of this reading that there was someone here who's fighting a connection. And I've got to the end of the reading now and now this person has come full circle. They have literally transformed. So, Sad, you could be connected to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fellow fire sign. And I, there's a lot of stag energy here with powerful divine masculine energy as well. 
So either I'm connecting to a powerful Sagittarius male who has a fellow fire sign or water sign feminine. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio feminine or I'm connecting to a feminine Sag who has uh, either a fellow fire sign or water sign that she's connecting to. Either way, this is this is a this is for me is a twin flame union energy. Yeah. Somebody yeah, the temptation cards here, which is the devil card of this deck, somebody could have been um this this person could have been fighting a connection because they were connected to a Capricorn or because they were stuck in their lower vibrations or sad you that this is you you could have been connected to someone who was in that energy quite a lot but this has come full circle so whoever this was that was fighting the connection they're now coming into offer commitment or vice versa switch it around take it as it resonates so let's move on to capricorn please and thank you lovely capricorns what's coming in for capricorn <coughs> oh my goodness Somebody may have to have a conversation with you, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, please and thank you. What do we have for Capricorn? It's strange when I go to Capricorn, <coughs> my throat just starts to tighten up. So I don't know if Capricorn's got a bit of a throat chakra blockage or someone around you has Sag. Or something, no, for you, Sag. Capricorn, excuse me, Capricorn. Um, maybe you could have some Sagittarius in your chart, or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Who knows? But let's see. So seven cards for the next seven days for beautiful Capricorns out there. What do we have for Capricorn? Seven cards for the next seven days, please and thank you. Okay, Capricorn, seven cards for seven days. Okay, pass the energy for Capricorn. Ouch. <laughs> Tower, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but in the past, someone has went through a life-changing situation, divine intervention of some kind, something that has completely changed your life. Um, why you've went through a tower, I do not know, but I will find out. This could be someone connected to you. Um, can I get the um, present situation for Capricorn? The tower was necessary, Capricorn, because you have wish fulfillment coming in now. So I love it when I get the nine of cups after a tower, because that is like, God is going, enough, enough of this BS. I'm changing up this person's life. They deserve better. And I feel they've just knocked down all the old and they're now bringing in wish fulfillment for you, Capricorn. So I'm not sure what the tower was here, but it was necessary. God, God did you a sword. That's all I can tell you. So future, please, for Capricorn. Call, yes. Yeah, so that's Sagittarius energy. So Scorpio and Sag energy coming through. Um, but this could be you're moving into your divine calling here. That's why you're getting wish fulfillment as well. Yeah, there's divine intervention here, possibly because you are a, a child of the divine and God stepped into a situation. But let me see. Um, current situation for Capricorn, Queen of Water. So yeah, you're, or I could be dealing with a Capricorn masculine here. Um, and you have a Queen of Water in your energy. Or Capricorn, this is you finally opening up and getting the loving connection you deserve. So let me see here. Um, challenges and obstacles, please. Star. So with the star being your obstacle, or your challenge you have to heal you have to mend yourself before you can move forward here i feel that there's some sort of healing to do but this is also faith your your challenge an obstacle could, could be that you're not having enough faith because the star card always the first word yes is about healing and wishes coming true and everything wishes being granted but for me it's about faith in God. First and foremost for me that's what the star card is for. 
um, from in my mind, not I'm, I'm not saying all readers should feel that way, but in my mind, I always think of faith and healing as the two things that come to mind. Um, so I feel Capricorn that maybe you don't have enough faith right now, but everything was necessary for you here. The tower was necessary. You're stepping into a beautiful wish, getting your wishes granted, healing. You could be having a divine purpose, and you've got love. Uh, you need to have faith. Yeah. Um, just, um blah, blah, blah. where am I? Hopes and fears. <laughs> to water. Yeah, you're hoping for a beautiful loving partnership to come in here for yourself. Now this could be someone returning, I'll try and clarify. But you you're hoping and praying for this beautiful loving partnership, this love partnership. And I just don't know if if you've lost faith in it or what, but you have Something was necessary. This big change was necessary. Outcome please for Capricorn one of their mind. Okay, the outcome here is five of water. The bottom of the deck is a high priestess. Nine of fire. King of earth. Your energy Capricorn. So I could be dealing with a masculine Capricorn here. Um, seven of air. Page of water. Right, okay. Okay. So I'm dealing I think I'm dealing with a masculine Capricorn here. I feel that you're in deep regret for not actually offering a love for not offering some sort of love offer here to now this could you could be connecting to a Pisces with a high priestess being here. You, you're coming in now to offer some sort of apology, confession, and express regret because you are actually hoping that this, um, I feel this could be some sort of high priestess energy, Pisces energy will accept you back and you can move into this. But I feel like you've lost a bit of faith along the way here, Capricorn. I mean, there's a heartbreaking ending here. But you do want to apologise and you do want to fight for this now. You may have deceived this person in some way. But let me see. Yeah. Seven of Cups sprung out the deck. You may have... You may have had other... Yeah. Look. So the Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah, you... You were too... Yeah, you wanted to work more on your passionate connections, I feel here. You wanted to work more on your passionate options, your passionate connections, and you regret it now because it put you through a tower of some kind. So I do feel like I'm connecting to a So this could be for a cross watcher if you're watching for a um, masculine Capricorn you're dealing with. But look, the sun. Things can all things can really work out, but you don't lose faith, um, Capricorn here because yeah, look, the star card again, and that came right after the tower, and then the four of swords is here, and the nine of wands again. So yeah, somebody is, somebody is getting ready to to fight for this, but they have had to heal, and step into their faith a bit more, have some faith in the divine, connect more to God after going through this tower, which was was necessary. Yeah, you've gone through some sort of awakening, Capricorn. There's your energy, King of Pentacles again. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, um, Magician. So yeah, you're trying to manifest. Yeah, I mean, I am connecting to, I feel like I'm connecting to a masculine Capricorn here who messed up. They, they regret not offering and working on a connection giving equally. To this high priestess here. I feel there's a, a really um, loving kind of feminine energy here, but this, your challenge, masculine, your challenge, Cap Capricorn, is having faith that you can actually, rather than sitting in regret, there is a happy outcome here if you can, if you can just keep standing in your faith. And I mean, you've got the call card here as well, so you definitely have been called by the divine and that's why you went through some sort of divine intervention but um there is, there is hope here for you and your beautiful divine feminine 
just have faith and be strong and confess your love knowing that you're being guided by God. Okay. So thank you Capricorn, that was a very strange message but let's move on to Aquarius please. Let's move on. Can we get Aquarius? Seven cards for the next seven days for Aquarius please. I'm leave it 10 past 5. I'm doing this a lot earlier in the day because usually I do all my readings after 8 o'clock but I'm doing two readings today so um, I'm doing two videos today so I'll do another message later on too. So let me see. Seven cards for Aquarius for the next seven days and the one on their mind please. Seven cards for Aquarius the next seven days please and thank you. Seven cards for the beautiful Aquarius the next seven days and I just really hope I'm right actually going through my mind here trying to remember all the signs of just I really hope I haven't missed any I hope I haven't okay so seven cards for Aquarius the next seven days let's do it seven cards for seven days past energy for Aquarius the one on their mind call again so either somebody made a judgment call or somebody answered the call of the divine <clears throat> so let's see present energy for aquarius four of water so somebody is basically either rejecting you or you're rejecting someone's offer here someone could have made a decision to walk away from you or to reject your offer or you made some sort of decision to reject someone's love offer here or turn away from love in some way or someone made that decision with you okay future energy for Aquarius no one in their mind please for the earth so somebody could be about to be a wee bit financially stuck here now again we've got 4-4 four, four. so 44 is a master number and um, it's also, then it also adds up to an eight, which we're in the year of infinity, the year of number eight here. But there's definitely, and fours are also protection, um, angelic protection as well. So I'm not sure what went on here, Aquarius, but it's somebody either rejected you and they're going to end up, or somebody rejected you because they know they're going to be hitting hard times financially. Let me see what this is. Current situation, please. Yeah. Okay. Um so some somebody is missing you or you're missing someone, but I feel this is someone from your past that made a decision to turn away from you. Now that person could still be holding on to you in some way, not they could be refusing to let you go. Um they could be trying to prevent you from moving forward. So I kinda get the you know, I'm not wanting to be with you right now, but I don't want anyone else to be with you. So this is someday, there is a lot of nostalgia and memories here. Um, I mean, you, you could both have kids together with that being the current situation as well. But I do feel that like someone's really missing you. Or you're really missing someone, Aquarius. Um, obstacles and challenges, please. Messenger of air. So... The challenge here is somebody coming in and delivering a message of truth of some kind. Someone coming in to actually deliver a message that will probably break some sort of deadlock here. Now, I don't have the hanged man here or anything like that, but I do feel like it's a, um, it's a, a gridlock. You know, it's just like nothing's moving here because... I feel someone made a decision to walk away from you or turn away from you or reject you or you made a decision to turn away from someone else and this is going to cause some sort of um, hardship in the future either energetically or financially for this connection. Um, can I get um, hopes and fears please for Aquarius Hermit? So someone, someone is hoping that but once they've spent some time here, now someone's hoping that when they actually um, close themselves off for a bit, and now this could be someone, this could be you, Aquarius, who's deciding to spend some time alone, 
trying to figure things out. You could be going through some sort of dark night of the soul or your person is. But I believe somebody rejected your love because um, because maybe they were dealing with someone from their past as well. They might have been dealing with someone from their past. They might have been dealing with a family situation in their past. But they don't want to let go of you either. Now, it could be a Virgo. So I've got, I've got Virgo, Sagittarius and Cancer. Um, outcome here for Aquarius and one in their mind, Ten of Fire. So somebody getting ready to, to lay down the burdens here. Okay, I'm going to clarify this. Queen of Water. Queen of Water, Chariot. Page of Air. Emperor, Ace of Air. So... I feel Aquarius, you are waiting here. You are you have love for someone here who rejected you and they may be keeping you kind of stuck, um, not really being able to move on because I think you're waiting on some sort of message of truth coming in here. You want to you, you no longer want to be burdened with this situation, but unfortunately I feel like you love this person. Um it is an emperor. This is your emperor. This is your divine counterpart. This could even be your husband, or your this. This could be. This could be your husband or someone you were in some sort of long term commitment with for a while. But somebody turned away from your love, and but now it's caused them to not want to let go of you, or you're not letting go of this person because I feel like you are waiting on some sort of message. And remember we had the obstacles and challenges with someone has to come and deliver a message and I feel you're waiting on this message. Now this is someone from your past, definitely could be a Virgo. But I feel that this has left you a bit burdened, Aquarius. But there is movement here. There is movement because we have got the chariot. So there is movement. Can you, right, let's get a wee bit more clarity. Can you tell me if um, this person who was in the Four of Cups, Four of Earth energy, um, this one that Aquarius is on Aquarius's mind, yeah. They're they are getting ready to come forward here, but they're just very slow and they're definitely could be in this hermit energy right now trying to figure out because if they've rejected you, it's very hard to come back from that. Um, you know, it's like when someone says I don't love you, I don't care about you, yeah, look, temptance. Um you, as I say, you could be connecting with a Sagittarius. But the, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So this person maybe made you kind of feel like you weren't the one for them, or they didn't they didn't think you would be their hap happiness in the future. But I think they lied because the Sun cards here. This person acted out. I mean, they're being divinely guided right now. This is healing. This is faith. This is patience. But. When Temperance comes out with the Knight of Pentacles, this is saying to you, Aquarius, you may have to be patient. Because this person, I do feel they did reject you, but there is movement here and there is a message coming in of truth. But I do feel this person, they're missing you and they're feeling nostalgic and they, they I feel like they really, really miss seeing you, but they are spending time going within right now. I mean the sun so there is a happy outcome here can you tell me how this person on a creative mind feels about them please I mean you love them yeah um page of wands just come out so this person does hope that they can come back and re-spark something with you but whether you choose to allow it or not is a different story yeah ten of pentacles king of cups so this person does so Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Now, so this masculine had to walk away from this this um Knight of Cups energy that's coming through here. Aquarius, they had to walk away from something from their past that may have kept them because it makes more sense now that this person they made a decision to walk away from you because I do feel they were connected to something from their past or someone from their past. That may have impacted them negatively now. So what I mean by that is, so if somebody, if your person was connected to a really karmic 
family in the past who kept them stuck and kept them in their head and used them and abused them and didn't show them love or whatever, then they will definitely find it hard to trust women. Or maybe it's to do with some sort of mother figure. If it's to do with the six of cups again, kind of shuffling. So it could be to do with a mother figure. Um, so take it as it resonates, Aquarius. You could be dealing with someone who has mother wounds and that's why they rejected you. But there is movement coming in here. So I hope that helps, Aquarius. Last but not least, to my beautiful Pisces. I love Pisces energy. I don't know why, I just love them. They're just, they're just beautiful energies. Um, so let's see. Pisces, please, and the one in their mind. Seven cards for seven days for Pisces. Last but not least, seven cards for seven days for Pisces. Sorry, that's Roxy, the Amazon delivery runs outside. And she just, she has a really bad beef with the Amazon trucks. Um, so she's always barking at them. She always says that she wants to tear their arm off and really she couldn't tear off, you know, a pinky toe, but she, she feels like she could, which is the most important thing. So let's see. So, seven cards for seven days for Pisces. Please and thank you. And thank you all so much for your guidance throughout. I can do this without my beautiful guides and the archangels. They are amazing. So, past energy for Pisces, please. Ace of Air. So, you got some truth and clarity. You got some divine truth, I feel. I just love this card with the unicorn. It's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, you got... you. you somebody gave you some... You got hit with a truth bomb here, or you hit somebody with a truth bomb, Pisces. Present energy for Pisces. Love! That truth bomb could have been... Filled with love. Somebody could have come in and told you that they love you. Beautiful. Um, can I get future energy for Pisces? Three of Earth. Yeah, this is someone who I feel has told you the truth. That they love you. They're in love with you. And now this is the energy the two of you are moving forward to. And um, into the future here, into Three of Earth. Working together to build a future. Beautiful. Current situation, please. King of Air. So, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Or maybe you're just dealing with someone who finally is speaking their truth to you now and they're being honest and they're being up front with you. So, let's see. Um, obstacles and challenges, please. Six of Air. So, the, the challenge here is both of you finding balance and being able to give equally to the connection because maybe this was off balance before maybe you were given all the love and your person's taken it and not giving it back or vice versa I take it as it resonates Pisces but the challenge here is to give equally and to allow the connection to balance out properly so that nobody feels that they're giving more than the other hopes and fears please king of fire so you, Pisces, you could be waiting for a, an Aries Leo Sagittarius to come in here or you could be waiting on them taking some sort of passionate action or this is someone who's hoping that if they take passionate action you will accept them back into your life because they are going to tell you the truth here. They, they want to tell you the truth about the past, I feel. So I don't feel that they've told you the truth in the past. I feel you're about to get the truth about something in the past. And this is going to this is going to change the dynamics in the present to love, and then in the future, to the three of earth. So you, this is going to whatever truth is coming in from this person about the past is going to change the future. So let's see the outcome here, please. Two of fire. So the outcome is a decision. The outcome is a decision is going to have to be made here, Pisces. So you might have to decide. Do you want to take this person back? Um, because we have the page of fire here at the bottom. So do do you want this connection to start up again? Do you want to re-spark the connection with this person? Because this person does love you. This person that's coming in here, they do love you. They have been stuck in their head for some time. They went through they experienced a tower, and that's what caused them to to complete something, and then they were in hermit mode, so dark night of the soul. 
and then the Ten of Earth here. So this person coming in, Pisces. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. So I'll just tell you what I'm getting here. Um, okay, Pisces. So this person, this King of Wands, King of Air, I don't know. Um, as I say, they could be fire and air in a chart or air and fire in a chart, whatever. But I, this, the signs I do get mostly here are Cancer, Virgo. Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius and Libra. Cancer, Virgo, Sagittarius. Yeah, quick, there's a few here. Um, but strong fire in here. This person went through some sort of terror here. There is some sort of offer of commitment coming in here. Um, this is also Taurus energy. Look, Ace of Fire and Four of Fire. So this person wants to come in and offer some sort of new beginning, some sort of commitment energy here. They may want to ask you to move in with them or something. But I do feel that like this is some sort of um, counterparts coming together for union. Because, look, someone's coming in here with an offer of the Ten of Earth. <coughs> this person does love you. But they have had to go through some sort of um, dark night of the soul to be able to move forward. So, this person's coming in to speak the truth about the past. Um, they do need to get out their head a bit here, Pisces. But you have got someone. Now, I have... Cancer, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So take that as it resonates, Pisces. And I hope that's been helpful to you and I hope it's given you some clarity. And thank you all for watching. Uh, my dog's scraping at the door, so I need out for the toilet. So I'll go and take her out. But thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps somebody. And I'll be back later for another, another video once I get the time to record another one. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Namaste.